All right. Welcome um, to this very short but very exciting recording of our transition to um, a GitHub organization. Um, the Turing Way has been growing for almost four years now and has grown so much that it now requires a bigger space in order to house this massive, um, massive project. Um, Really excited to pass the mic on to the infrastructure working group team. Um, we have multiple folks here from the team, uh, Sarah Gibson, Brigitte, Brigitte, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Siputz. Siputz? Siputz. Siputz. I'm yeah, sorry that that's not on the recording. I'm so sorry, but that's it's a brilliant okay. Brigitte. Um, we have Jim Madge. Whose name I might have also mispronounced, as well as Danny Garside. Um, okay, I'm going to pass the mic on to Sarah, who'll kick us off, and then to Danny, who will click on the transfer. And then if Jim or Brigitte want to add anything as well, they're totally welcome to. So thank you all for your amazing hard work um, in making this happen. This is over a year in the making, and the fact that it's finally happening is super exciting. So um, very stoked to see it happen. All right, on to you all. I mean, yeah, it's just super exciting. We get to be our own organization on GitHub, not just a repository within the, the Turing Institute's GitHub. And this will allow us to do so many more cool things like um, GitHub Teams that will be able to map onto the working groups. And I just believe that will help us in our project management. Um, so much more and I'm very looking very much looking forward to not being tagged as an individual just because I last touched a file <laughs> I'm more like let's distribute this work across people um but I'm sure there's going to be loads of cool other things we get to do as well such as we may finally be able to split the repository up into like the book and the other um sort of like supporting materials that we have um yeah it's just a whole new chapter of the the cheering way and it's super exciting um so jim or brigitte if you would like to add anything to that my only addition is that it's super exciting so i i never been officially part of the Turing institute so it was really difficult to do any infrastructure or any any updates of of any access and and access rights for the infrastructure team. So now it's like finally we can we can open it up. And and now it's really doing like transparent and open science and not just talking about it. So great, super exciting. Yeah, I'm not sure if I uh I'm not a good enough author to uh accurately describe this one momentous occasion, but um just to echo what uh Sarah and Brigitte said this should help um, engage the community more, sort of practice what we preach and um, help ensure things are as open as possible um, and that people can get, get involved. Um, there have been a lot of talks about how we want to create teams and be able to more easily involve people and then make that clear and this should make a lot of that uh, a lot simpler. Which case, thank you all. And it's over to Danny. Let's do this. Hey, I am the button presser today, so I will start pressing some buttons. We have already done a, a, a dry run of this. And so if, if it looks like I'm going quickly, that is why. Oh no, typing on command. Typing while people are watching. I think you needed to select the organization from the drop down as well. Okay, that looked right. I'm not going to maybe it to myself. Danny, would you be able to explain what's on the screen um, verbally? Sure. Oh, that's a great idea. So, um, I have clicked to transfer the repository and that's taking me to a new screen where it asks me um, 
who the new owner is going to be. And I've selected one of the organizations that, um, that I'm already, that my GitHub account is already associated with, which is the new the dash sharing dash way organization. And it's just given me lots of reminders about what does get passed over in this transfer. So it's saying individual users, teams, and apps will be removed from the following option repository. Will set bypasses, protected branch for of best bypasses, various kind of uh, um, uh, specific permissions. Then. And then it has a big scary warning saying this is a potentially destructive action. And then it asks me to write in the name of the repository to confirm. And I think. To me, it's all looking good. But um, can you look at everybody else's thumbs up on whether it is good for them? I'm sure I've typed something wrong and it will say no. But to me, it looks good. How about it? Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Sorry, that was just to add more drama to it. I'm frozen during this moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> That's we broke the recording. Yeah, we broke, we broke the recording. We are cool. still recording, but we can just we we keep going. <laughs> Did it happen? <laughs> My Zoom just crashed. Um, me and Zoom don't get on, and it just yeah totally died. That was exciting. What was the last thing you heard? I feel like you would like we're just about to click the button and we're like, has it happened? Great. Great. I'll go ahead and press the button. Let's do this. Gotta make sure it's you and not any random yeah. person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. That was the perfect name of the Zoom to patch. Okay. I can go ahead and give both of those teams permission. That is why those teams are set up. Okay, and now it's showing me the other repositories from the Allen Churn Institute, which surprised me because I was expecting to see the new repository in the new location. But that's fine. I'll navigate there myself. Ta da! And it's already popular. How cool is that? So popular. So Quickly popular. Amazing. Okay. Cool. I'm going to maybe stop sharing my screen. Yeah. Um, we can maybe switch over to Netlify now. Um, I can share my screen. Um, oh, God. Everybody's in the middle of my screen now. Okay. So now we're looking at the Netlify build settings, which is what builds the Turing way. Um, and up here we can see that the repository is still configured to the Turing Institute. But we can change that by linking to a different one. Okay. Play with GitHub. Authorize. Um, Take a little file and get home. Two pages of orgs now. There we go, right at the end. 
Um, I'm going to do only select repositories and we can update this as we need it. I don't think so. We can see if you're looking at another screen. We're I am at... so sorry. <laughs> no worry. Um, let me just stop my screen share. It's like, it's just the um, authorization on GitHub. Um, so rather than allowing Netlify to read all of our repositories in the, the new organization, I'm just saying, let's only do select repositories. And I've just selected the original repository now because we can always update this as like more repositories are added that require Netlify builds. Um, so yeah, and so we just install that app. For anyone watching, remember to have two-factor authentication because mm -hmm. it's good for your security. In fact, now that it we will be our, mandatory. Yeah, now that we own our own organization, we can make it mandatory. Yeah. Oh, so, GitHub, GitHub will make GitHub it, made it mandatory as well. Also. Yeah. Um, we're, and now we're linking branch deploy main. Yes. Oh, I should have checked these beforehand. Uh, directory. Yeah, fine. That is the right one. I mean, we'll see if it breaks now. We'll see what breaks. Yeah, we'll see what breaks. <laughs> uh, it's never the thing we accept, ex expect. Boys. I think that's fine. I don't know what all of this pending review is. Do you want me to restart a pull request, a rebase a pull request, so that would trigger Matlify? <laughs> yeah. I've got one lined up. Oh, that'd be really helpful. I'm like not so understanding I... why these are like pending review. Oh, is it just like, oh, okay, these have, right. They're literally pending review on GitHub. That was about as clear as mud. Just to merge on, on a little PR, which should. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. There we go. I've found some useful deploy logs here. Kiss the cat for look. Yes. Oh, error. There we go. That's just like a lot of pip installing errors. But it's still going. Okay, cool.
in the edit, this is the bit where we can fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is this part would be appropriate for like matrix music oh really i was thinking of the <laughs> benny hill the benny hill theme yay failed <laughs> fail on? i love how this recording is essentially a fail fest <laughs> <laughs> infrastructure <laughs> communication infrastructure video infrastructure build break this is what being an infrastructure engineer is like. It's like, oh, something broke. That's a Tuesday. <laughs> Join the team. As well, do you folks find as well that more things break than they might otherwise because you're fiddling with things and using like non non default settings for things? Like, I think the reason that I keep on falling in and out of Zoom is because I'm using my fair phone as a hotspot, which has like a a slightly custom ROM on it that the hotspot I think just disappears every 20 minutes or something for 10 seconds. But I think that's because I want to play with it. <laughs> I think that's the goal. Anyhow, sorry. Okay. They'll turn bills. Bye. Um, it's a URL. Please open it, not download it. Uh, that's going to be not helpful. So, did you book the build correctly? And it's just it's on it's on the netlify side or jupyter side. I can't see any errors in the jupyter book thing. Yeah, no. Um, build succeeded from jupyter book. Yeah. Build during stage building site. Um, I wonder if I don't know. We got some errors from pip about installing stuff, but I'm actually really surprised it then went on to build the book at all yeah um it could still be like version errors then pick them yeah different. I, yeah i don't see the specifics but um it was not fine yeah it was things like I don't know. Like, what of requirement already satisfied? Yeah, this is like pinning oh. errors. Yeah, I personally haven't done a um, a local build recently. I don't know whether these are like errors that. Oh. Errors like yeah, errors that come up every time we go. Has anybody done a local build or looked carefully at Netlify recently? Um, well, that was the last published build. Logs, yeah, building. Yeah, you're right. I think it's supposed to be right. Okay. So it looks like the book build did actually work. Um, so it says the HTML. Building succeeded, the HTML pages are in build HTML. In the in the deploying stage, though, it says it's looking in book website, book website, build HTML. Right, okay. Um so we so have I wonder like... if the um 
Yeah, I wonder if the two return code is because pip failed, but actually it, I don't know, it didn't matter. Well, I, I think the path might be wrong because it shouldn't be book website, it's not a book website. Yeah. Uh, so maybe. I'm just going to put in a little, so over on the Turing wayside, I'm going to put in a little PR to update. So in the config file, it does still point to the old repo. I don't think that will fix this, but it can't hurt to update that. Uh, the page you were just looking at, Sarah. Yeah. Um, publish directory. That, that's it. I'm going to get rid of, okay, maybe I won't get rid of that one. Oh no, because it's that's the one I changed, right? For someone looking at this page, could you explain a little bit more about what? Absolutely not, because I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I These things are also defined in the... <laughs> Tommel file, although it says that's, they're overwritten yeah. by the Tommel file here, which didn't seem to happen. <laughs> that's what I was trying to do over here, was I was trying to get to the GitHub repository and oh, why do we have so much stuff in the room? Okay. Uh, base book slash website. Okay. Book slash slash website. I can show you book website. Yes. And we we wanted that to be HTML, don't we? Build HTML. Yeah, underscore build slash HTML. Yeah. Oh, is that overwritten? Okay. Now let's go back to the floors. Maybe, yes, we try. This is what I don't like about Netlify. There's too much that you can configure on the website and then having a Tommel file in the repository as well. Just means that it doesn't make a lot of sense. Dun 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 dun
I'm really excited for the book repo to be smaller, um, for things to kind of be split off in different directions. But then I guess as also as the book expands, it will take the same amount of time that it does take now to build. Where did you find the original message, Jim? Oh, it's in the deploying step. It looks like it's some exactly the same thing. <laughs> It's so frustrating. Yeah, let's just like leave that blank because that's coming from the Netlify Tomal anyway. I wonder if I can just do like a brand new deploy. Give a deploy, play site. actually looking at how Jupyter Book builds their documentation with a Jupyter Book on read the docs and oh my gosh it's so much simpler um Well, if this deploy doesn't exceed, I'm going to be eaten by a hungry cat. I've just pushed a, um, uh, uh, I've just opened a PR with changing like all of the, the paths over and anything that was hard linked to the old repo URL over to the new one. I think what? it might be a pending published directory to base directory. Um, that's what the documentation sort of suggests. Oh no, no, it doesn't at all. <laughs> it says it's got to be within the base directory, would it, which is what we've done. I am out of ideas. 
So, um, I think, sorry, I've been away doing something else for a couple of minutes. Would it be useful to rub a duck it to me and also uh, to kind of bring me up to speak? So the problem is, is that it's trying to publish the wrong website, the wrong um, folder. It's trying to publish this folder, but it should be publishing just that folder. Yeah. Um, um, the correct we... folder is defined in the TOML file. And we have left in the site configuration, uh, build and deploy. We've left, well, this directory. This site tells you it's then overwritten by the TOML file. So, yeah, I don't know. We've tried leaving that. Is there, way to, is there a way to just um, preview what it is generating? We can see whether it is putting it in the right place or whether it is putting it in that double nested location. Um, I don't know. No, that's initializing, build image. That's giving hit things. Hit and Jekyll building. Um, this all looks fine. Like Jupyter Book actually runs and builds. We should be able to come back to that later. Yeah. And then deploying this configuration error, resolved config, publish. Yeah, it's just got, it's just doubling up this, this path, and I don't know why. Maybe, Sarah, I, I don't know. That's why I was suggesting. What happens if you leave empty all the fields and leave? That was the last build I just tried. The last build I like emptied out. I, um, yeah. Yeah, but re remove that's where the publish the right directory, just leave that empty as well. What happens if you remove that, leave empty? It's going to take by default one. Danny, when you were updating paths, did you try a local build? Doing that now. Cool, thank you. I'm so glad this is all being recorded. Do you have any tips, all of you, for future infrastructure maintainers? <laughs> Who don't have gone Netlify. so far in the video? <laughs> and the record. Uh, don't use Netlify, don't record. Major upgrades. <laughs> That's fine. This is just real. Uh, deeply authentic. Day in the life. <laughs> Well, at least it's not a Friday and a Friday afternoon deployment. Oh, God. When we were scheduling this, I specifically said, let's not do Friday because no. <laughs> Breaking the first rule of DevOps.
watching Hackers from 1995 definitely gave me a different impression of what it meant to be a computer scientist. <laughs> Now, if you ever look through the Git commit, git commit history of any kind of projects, now you'll understand why so many commits are just like trying to fix the eye. Will this make the eye happy? What's wrong with the eye? Although nowadays we are in no. No. Don't understand. That's what it was before. I think we've tried all of those combinations. Sorry, I'm responding to Alejandro in the chat. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I just want to comment there like, because maybe it's reading the tom is like saying, okay, I'm going to read the tone, and the tone is, is bad because you say there, they have the publish, and you remove boot website and you lead from build HTML. I mean, maybe you fix that there. You may just that change there. Okay. It's my impression that it's like giving priority to the tone file. I've, yeah, I've just opened a Do PR that? doing that. Okay, cool. Which, yeah, is a guess because it looks like it's concatenating those two yeah. strings. So. Yeah. Maybe that works, <laughs> but I don't know yeah. what could have changed because. Yeah, but I mean, it's uh, that, apparently that file given worked it, before. Yeah, worked um, before, but something changed now. Because in the ideas book, I have like that. Uh, I don't know, it like build HTML and not the, again the same path. It says your PR, Jim, 3264. Yes. Cool. Yes. I want, oh, I didn't check the setting. Uh, I was bad at doing a dry run, unlike Danny. I didn't check the, what the setting, well, I don't think I need to check the settings. Um, so it could have been that something was overwritten in the UI that was fixing this problem in the Tommel. But if the Tommel always takes precedence, then how did it ever work? This is what happens when you mix infrastructure as code with a clicky UI thing. So you don't know what gets overwritten. Okay, can confirm that a local build is fine. No problem. Did you see any of the pip errors that we're seeing in the Netlify build? Probably not, because I was thinking we should probably open an issue about that so we don't get it. I see. None of those errors. Yeah, you, you probably. Yeah. You probably don't uh, work any. It wouldn't. If I was debugging that server, I would want to, because I've just used the same Condor environment that I've had going for a while. So I, I would want to generate a fresh Condor environment, see if I can utilize that.
Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Um, please merge your PR. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, team. Yeah, that does. I mean, we, it doesn't make sense, but it works. Well, I think it makes full sense. I mean, your pull request makes full sense. Netlify isn't, but it's a separate question. Yeah. I don't think it makes sense how it was working before. Yeah, well, why was it working before if that fixed it now? <laughs> Rule two of DevOps, don't ask questions you don't want to hear the answer to. <laughs> uh, cool. I don't know if the website ever went away, but I think it. I've just did a hard refresh and it looks to be there now. The deploy was successful. We are good to go, I think. I think that is the official migration of the Turing Way into a, its own organization. Well done, team. I'm gonna, the little PR that I did, switching over all the, the hard links, I'm gonna switch that back to a draft and actually um, review it more carefully. Oops. We didn't need it. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> we just merged it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spectacular. Cool. Don't worry then. It's okay, we can revert that on a Friday. <laughs> oh, it's I'll still a fix. I'll follow that through and make sure nothing else breaks. Well done, everybody. So maybe the final question before we close is, what's next, team? <laughs> Different documentation hosting provider? That, that's the big picture. Like, what, what's next in terms of uh, this process of transferring this to um, uh, the organization? I guess, like, setting up teams. That's... Yeah, I can volunteer that to to pull up the scaffolding for the YAML approach for the teams, but I need to wait until my end of the workday. And yeah, so I will try to do this evening and tomorrow evening. If I don't get there, just ping me until I scream and do it. I can see all the collaborators have, have been moved over with the repository, so. I guess everyone who did have access still has access, but definitely think we should we should sort that out, make that a bit more uh, sensible with teams. That is weird, but because previously it didn't happen on repos that I moved, but we control those repos with teams already. So yeah, maybe it's the difference when there are individual collaborators or team-based because the teams are not being transferred. I had to be added back to my repository when it was moved into the Carpentries incubator. So yeah, I'm surprised, but I haven't moved there. Again, I wasn't in control of the Carpentries incubator, so I don't know. I think whatever time of day it is, it's a celebration time, mini celebration, and get on with whatever we need to get on with. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right. Should we, should we close this recording? All right. Thank you for watching to the end. Gentle watcher. <laughs> Congrats to the team. Super exciting. Open infrastructure in action, practicing what we preach. Um, 
really excited for this like moment when it feels like the like the keys to the to the city are being handed to the people. I feel like the more I talk, the deeper the hole is going to be dug. So I'm just gonna close it and say, thank you all for also fixing those bugs and for fixing those bugs in public, like in this sharing your screen and also having it re be recorded is also so much more high stakes. Um, so it's also insight into your process too. Um, any closing words for many of you? A speech you have prepared? I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. End scene. Thanks. That's all, folks. <laughs>